Why, hello there, friends. It's Emma here, the Bookish Princess. So, I have an Amazon package coming today, and I have been watching and watching it and waiting for it to arrive, and I think it's finally here. I am so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> there it is. Do you guys know what this is? Can you guess? All of this has become this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Time for the moment of truth. I didn't even need scissors. This is the proof for my new book. The third book of Cymbeline. This is A Kitten's Tale from Winter to Spring. I've been working and working and working on this. All these illustrations and all the writing. And now finally we have the proof. Oh my goodness. Okay, generally I like it. I, it's always so helpful to see the proof because usually like there are some little colors that I might want to adjust, especially for the cover. And like, actually I've already been working on this. I feel like there's a little too much blank space right there. So this isn't quite the final cover, but look, the back cover is actually my favorite part. Isn't that beautiful? With the daffodils. Yes, so this is the third in the series. Of course, you guys probably have already heard me or seen me mention the first two. The first one took us from summer to fall when Cymbeline was a tiny, tiny kitten. And then the second takes us from fall to winter when she's a growing kitten. I wanted the um, covers to all kind of have the same format, but the problem is Cymbeline is getting bigger. Like here she was a tiny, tiny, brand new, like five week old kitten. And then in this one, you know, she's growing. She's like two months old, uh, three months old. And then this one, she's like six months old. So unfortunately I did have to change the um, format because she's a big cat now. I didn't have room for three lines of text. I only had room um, for two. Okay, I haven't even opened up. Um, the new one quite yet because there are of course illustrations on the inside as well. I'll give you guys a little tiny sneak peek. There's our new, our new character, a new cat in town. Adorable symbol napping. Oh, these look pretty good. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This is one of my favorites her in the middle of the azaleas, but I don't wanna to give too much away. So if you follow my channel for the last, say, year and a half, you've probably heard me mention the book of Cymbeline a time or two. Cymbeline is, of course, my own kitten, and these um, storybooks do follow the true story of her arrival and my own cluelessness about cats. We get to hear the story from Cymbeline's own perspective, which um, has been one of the most fun parts about writing these. But yeah, the first one came out last September um, of 2022, and then this second one, came out in February of this year. So see, I was sort of able to follow the seasons like as they were happening, but then unfortunately I just, you know, got really busy and did not manage to get out this um, before spring. But it's here now. See, I got one book out in 2022 and now two books out in 2023. So I feel like we're still, we're still doing pretty well here. And it was actually really fun to put myself back into the mindset of spring and, you know, the first daffodils, waiting for the first daffodils to arrive and like the whole sequence of flowers. Even though what was happening outside was actually kind of the opposite because it's been, you know, fall to winter, you know, all the leaves are falling and the flowers are dying for the season and fall and winter can be very cozy but they can also be a little bit depressing knowing that it's going to be so long until we really have green back on the trees and flowers again but putting myself into the mindset of what is it going to be like when spring comes again has actually been lovely because it's a nice reminder that well yes the branches are now bare and they're going to be bare for a while but spring is gonna come again. And the, that lovely spring green lace and the gentle green hues and, and all the flowers, they'll be back, you know? It's just, just a matter of time. That theme of the shift in seasons has been so fun um, to play with in the Book of Cymbeline series because the books follow the seasons, but it's not like one book for fall, one book for winter. Each book takes place at the change. And like, there's always something so magical when the seasons change. The seasons are changing, but of course, Cymbeline herself is also changing. So I just feel like those two themes work really well together. I have some more thoughts on that actually, which I'm thinking of trying to put together into a little sort of video essay written piece for my Substack, bookishprincess.substack.com. And now that I actually have the third book in hand and I have my publication date, I can actually move on to other, other projects and other ideas. But yes, 
This will be out on Friday, November 24th, Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving, but the pre-order link is live right now for both paperback and Kindle versions. So I'll put it here on the screen as a QR code in the description, pause the video, go over, grab your copy, don't delay. It could be a great Christmas gift if you're looking for something for a cat lover of really any age. All three of these would be fabulous. The Kindle versions are just $2.99 each. And even if you don't have um, a Kindle device, you can actually get like the ebook version. On pretty much any um, mobile device, like even if you have an iPhone, you can download the Kindle app and then you can buy a book from the Kindle store. So if you don't want to get the paperback version or want to get the, the cheaper Kindle version, you can always do that. The paperback is $14.99, the new one. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it any lower than that because of the printing costs and like the color and everything. Um, but it does look really beautiful and I love the illustrations. They look lovely. The second book of Cymbeline is also $14.99. The first one is a little smaller and slimmer, so that one is just $11.99. But yes, massive props to those of you who have already gone out and bought a copy. Um, and if you haven't yet, you absolutely should. If you like the style of content on my channel, then you will absolutely love the books because it's the same kind of voice. And I do feel like these are so typical of me because here we've got like a Shakespearean title and lots of beautiful descriptions of the season and, and writing that I'm really proud of and worked really hard on, but also cats and you know, it's goofy, funny, humorous cat stories and some other animals as well. You may remember remember the um, squirrels from the book of Cymbeline the second. They do reappear in Cymbeline the third and there are some new friends that we're going to meet. My arm was starting to get tired so I put you guys all on the tripod. But yes, I just wanted to pop in quickly to tell you all about the new book and the release date. I hope you'll go and grab a copy. I hope you'll leave a review once you read it. Thank you so, so much all of you who have left reviews for the first two books of Cymbeline. It's always so wonderful um, to read what you think on Goodreads on Amazon. So if you haven't, left a review yet for these two. You should definitely go reread them to prepare yourself <laughs> for the third book and then go and leave a review. The books are of course chronological, but they also kind of stand alone. So obviously you should get all three, but if you just wanted to get the third one, you wouldn't really be lost. You'd be able to pick up pretty quickly. But it's really been so rewarding and so satisfying to get these out. Massive thank you to all of you who have been already following along with the Chronicles of Cymbeline, the book of Cymbeline, and have already picked up copies. And I really, really hope that you guys enjoy the latest one. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Get hyped Friday, November 24th, pre-order it now, and then it'll be there. You can read the ebook over Thanksgiving weekend or uh, the print copies usually come super fast. So I would imagine it would arrive if not on Friday the 24th and pretty shortly thereafter. Cymbeline and I wish you all a wonderful Thanksgiving. I will talk to you again soon. And until then, I hope you have a magical and a bookish day. Bye guys.